Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for August 17th, 2017 for your Thursday. We're going to start off partly to mostly sunny across the region and then clouds are going to start to thicken a little bit in the afternoon and especially toward evening. Uh, that's because we have a warm front in association with this area of low pressure that's going to be moving toward the region and will move through later overnight. Uh, we'll bring a few showers to the region also. Uh, but this is the cold front that's going to come through here on Friday that's associated with it also. Uh, you really can't see the warm front here in this uh, precipitation image because there's really not anything uh, we're concerned about with precipitation during the day. Uh, once we get during the evening here, there will be a warm front associated with this that will uh, spark some showers as we head into uh, the morning on Friday. Here is the area of low pressure up to the north. Uh, there's a warm front sticking out here like this, and then you have a cold front situated back here like this, something like that, not exactly, but uh, you get the idea. Just showers here, uh, probably mainly after midnight tonight. Some areas for the southwest will get those a little bit earlier in the later evening. Uh, just get over to the NAM high res Future Simulator Radar. I just want to show you what this looks like, and this is at 7 p.m. Again, uh, south-central Pennsylvania will get into these showers a little bit earlier. Uh, this is looking at 7 p.m. In, uh, in the evening. They're going to lift off to the north. They're going to have a few more showers move in, maybe late evening or in uh, for part of the, parts of the overnight. Here's a look at uh, 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. and 5 a.m., just some widely scattered showers. Uh, but uh, definitely overcast through the night. And then when we get into Friday, uh, this cold front is going to move through and we'll have uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms along that frontal boundary. This is going to favor the afternoon, but uh, again, if this could happen earlier early in the day also before uh, noon when you get some showers and perhaps a thunderstorm early on. I think this is mostly just going to be rain though with embedded thunder. Not a real big deal as far as uh, the severe aspect is concerned. And then later in the e afternoon and evening, here's the more scattered showers and thunderstorms moving further east across New Jersey, Delaware, uh, and extreme eastern Pennsylvania. And then finally, it starts to wrap up in the evening as this pulls away. And behind it on Saturday, we turn partly cloudy. Uh, not worried about precipitation during the day. This is later in the day. Nothing, uh, this little uh, piece of energy moving moving through is going to dissipate as it heads eastward. And uh, we're not expecting any precipitation here on Saturday. So we did take the thunderstorm mentions out for Saturday. The front now uh, that looked like it's going to be held up a little bit is now uh, safely further east. So it should not affect even the shore points here on Saturday. Should have a partly cloudy, pretty nice day here Saturday too with warm temperatures. Uh, very similar to what we saw yesterday, actually. Uh, going a little bit forward from this point, again, that system just kind of falls apart as it heads further eastwards. We're not expecting anything from that. Uh, going into Sunday, high pressure is going to be sitting right over top of the region, so we're going to have a mostly sunny day on on Sunday. Might take a step uh, back by maybe uh, two degrees or thereabout in high temperatures on uh, on Sunday, but it's still going to be warm. Uh, just with a little lower, lower humidity expected here on Sunday. No precipitation, obviously. Uh, then we get the Monday. Here's the uh, forecast for the eclipse. Here is the exact time frame for the eclipse. High pressure is going to be off to our east right here. Uh, but you can see, uh, I know it shows a little couple blips here, uh, but I really wouldn't expect anything with that. Um, there is not going to be any precipitation or coverage area. We're expecting partly to mostly sunny skies uh, during the eclipse time frame. We have a pretty good consensus between the GFS, Canadian, and the European models all showing the same thing. So uh, pretty safe bet that we will be okay for viewing the eclipse uh, on Monday afternoon, and that forecast has continued uh, to hold over the last couple of days. So uh, not expecting any interruptions with that if you are planning on viewing it. Be sure, of course, that uh, we are viewing it safely uh, with the special glasses that are allowed. Otherwise, uh, we could have some serious issues with vision and blindness, so we don't want to get into that. Uh, getting into Tuesday now, uh, another uh, cold front is going to approach from the west in association with a system off to our north. Scattered late day showers and thunderstorms will be possible later on Tuesday with this system coming in. Uh, the actual front, though, is going to come through on Wednesday, it looks like, but it doesn't look like it has much punch to it on Wednesday. This uh, comes through overnight and then uh, Monday morning when the... Uh, uh, best heating is not achieved yet, so you really don't have anything to worry about as far as scattered showers and thunderstorms. And then by later in the day on Wednesday, it has moved uh, further southeast. The front has anyway. So we're still allow allowing for an isolated shower here on Wednesday, but it should be getting back to uh, temperatures back down to near normal for this time of year, as opposed to slightly above normal, which we will be for the next couple of days. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is our outlook for August 17th, 2017. Have a great Thursday.